What has been the sum benefit to black people of 50 years of hip hop? Outside of economic advancement? What was our, what was the economic advancement of black America because of it's hip hop? Biz, it's, the biggest, it's the biggest export. Everybody in the black community. I'm going to ask you again. Yes, sir. How did black America benefit from 50 years of hip hop? And don't give me individual rappers. That's called tokenism and bourgeoisie. Well, I won't give specifically. Who didn't have access to jobs before the explosion of hip hop. 50 so years ago. white companies that make billions of dollars. Forget the white the companies. I'm talking about black owned companies black that have come. Who? How many? FUBU. FUBU. Carl Kanai. I'm getting out of here. What? Where the fuck wearing fufu and car can I? You said it. Oh, you're, you're moving. The you're moving the goal. You're moving the goalpost. You. You're moving the goalpost. You said in 50 years. Oh come on. You said man. in 50 years. You reaching, bro. You reaching. That's not true, though. People I'm, that is a reach. What? You said in 50 years. In 50 years. What has transpired? This ninja went back to the. Late eighties. No, this is crazy. no. Yes, it is. Yes, but, it is. But it's not as obvious. It's not where it was before. But the advancement that those four men. Uh, boom, boom, boom. So fifty years. I, I, you had on a Fubu jacket and some Carl Kanaji. No, listen. and for the billions that hip hop make, I'm supposed to be content with that. I All right, what you just heard was a quick clip. And I'll put the link as well to everything below. But that was Dr. Umar on a podcast talking about hip hop, and the question that came up. Has hip hop really done anything for 50 years? And he said no. So then uh, one of the brothers started talking about, you know, fashion and different things. And of course, it got heated. Dr. Umar said that really hasn't done anything. You got other people there arguing about it. And <laughs> the guy tried to say Fubu and uh, other Carl Kana. <laughs> Dr. Umar stood up and walked off. And of course, I had to stop it. But he keeps going on. on Dr. Umar started talking about what banks and things like that have we owned. And I have to read with Dr. Umar. Hip hop hasn't really done it, really a, a thing for us as a community. Now, have certain songs came out of it, like Dear Mama, Gotta Keep Your Head Up, Fight the Power? Sure, sure. But we're talking about overall, we don't own these record companies. Most people don't own a masters. Most people don't own a publishing. People are signed to a 360 slave contract. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Most of these rappers are broke. So overall, we've done nothing but make other people rich. And do, do we need to? Do I need to start dropping names? Honestly, the Leo Collins and the Julie Greenwalls and um, who was the, the the founder of Lao? Steve Rifkin and um, uh, was it Clyde Davis and the Jimmy Iovine? Look how much look how much money Tupac and Fifty Cent, Dr. Dre made Jimmy Iovine. You feel me? Like where where is our distribution to where we are like Universal Records and we own everything and we push out? We don't have that. We had pockets of people. Yeah, Cash Money had a hell of a deal. Yeah, No Limit had a hell of a deal. But who else got deals? You, you still got artists now be complaining about not getting royalty checks. And then what really benefited? And most of the music, you don't hear nothing about investing. You don't hear nothing about owning properties. You don't hear nothing about building your community together. Most, majority of the remake is, is, is degrading women. So what really has it done overall? And honestly, how hip hop, the you know, growing up, right? You had, I grew up in the, uh, I guess I was a teenager, or late 90s, early 2000s, whatever. That whole era, what was they pushing? Being a drug dealer. And then what happened? You came from the drug dealer to the drug users. And that's all you've been hearing the last 10 to 15 years of music is popping pills. You just seen, even with uh, Rich Homie Quan just uh, passing away yesterday, allegedly off a, a, a bad pill. But it's done nothing. We have no banks. We have no infrastructure that we've really built. Yes, we've had 50 years of hip hop, but look who got wealthy. Capital Records got wealthy. Interscope got wealthy. Def Jam, you can argue because uh, Russell Simmons was part of that. Well, he helped found him and Rick Rubin. But look who really benefited. Rick Rubin was the Leors, uh, uh, Loud Records, as I said earlier. So on and so on and so on. And the music now has gotten so bad. That you have people out here like a sexy red who they want to make as like the fun, popular girl of music. Now, let's be honest. What, you really think she would have been out in the 90s or even if she was, there would have been some type of there's no more balance at all. You know, they have learned these other cultures have learned to take advantage of it. OK, even with fashion. Right. Let's just say hypothetically we did come up with FUBU. You could argue FUBU and Sean John or Rockwell. Who wears that stuff now? When was the last time you seen somebody wear a Sean John shirt? 
What are we wearing now? The Balenciagas, the Gucci's, the Louis, the Pradas. And now those companies have become even more wealthy because we moved the needle. But even at one point, we was wearing our own stuff. But then we had that up stop not becoming cool anymore. It was uncool to wear. I remember being in middle school. Man, you had on a Sean John shirt. You was the man. I one of them Sean John track outfits. That was black owned. But we don't even have that no more. And overall, the music has been trash. For every Nas that's came out, look who else is. Just listen to the radio today. You ain't got to take my advice. Listen to the radio. What positive stuff are you actually going to hear? in our music so how is it beneficial you know what i'm saying and most of these rappers like i said they dying broke no insurance um all all this funding even um dr dre not from nwa but from yo mtv raps look at him unfortunately you know what i'm saying with that brother going through is anybody helping him is as a hip-hop community are they helping him with, with his current situation no so no no hip-hop overall man is really done more harm to more good when it originally came out was it more trying to spread messages sure but that was in the eight it was gone after that by the time i was coming up it was it was starting to turn you know you can't even be an mc hammer no more you can't even be a will smith no more without getting clowned so yeah no it hasn't at no overall it's done more harm than, than good even a lot of people will tell you before they get out there and do something that they're gonna regret they'll start playing their favorite music who you think they playing you feel me so i mean let's just we, we, we got we got to count a spade a spade yes for every for every rapper that's done anything beneficial or made any beneficial songs, how many more songs you think out there is, is garbage and stuff that you don't want your daughters or your sons listening to? I don't want my daughters listening to Sexy Red. I don't want my sons listening to that type of shit. I mean, I'm just, we just going to be honest over here. It's terrible. It's terrible. It's terrible. And you just see it in the culture, man. We got people walking around just. I mean, even a whole baby mama, single baby mama culture or having all these bunch of kids. NBA Youngboy just had his 12th kid. And, uh, Sexy Red just had another baby out of wed. Like, these things are celebrated. You know what I'm saying? These are, it's promoted through hip hop. Smash a chick, smash a chick. You know what I'm saying? Or you got Sexy Red and then what, what, what they say? Um, uh, uh, shake that ass for Drizzy. Shake that ass for me. <laughs> it's terrible, man. So, no, a lot of people are out their feelings, man. But no, hip hop has done way more harm than good. That might not have been the original message, but when people got a hold of it, they, it just went to hell. But I just want to give my quick thoughts about it. Am I tripping? Do y'all agree? Disagree? A lot of y'all know what I'm talking about, man, especially my older subscribers. Y'all who's, who's growing up in the 80s and 90s and 2000s like me, come on now. Y'all know y'all know that this shit is, has, has not really benefited us. But I just want to give my quick thoughts about it. Tell me what y'all think.